Hi, I'm Alan Mangro, a system designer for the EP10. Today what we're going to talk about is the replacement of a keypad on the EP10. The EP10 has three variants of the keypad. We have a QWERTY variant, and we also have an Azurity variant, which is very similar. And we have a numeric variant. For this exercise, we're going to use the numeric variant. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the numeric variant with a QWERTY keypad. And to do that, we have to have a service assembly kit, and these are the items. The keypad bezel, a PCB, a keypad elastomer, and a keypad mylar. Before we start, we need to remove the battery from the terminal, and make sure we're grounded before we touch any electronic components. The tools that we will need to remove the keypad are a T5 torque screwdriver, and any tool that will help you remove the mylar from the terminal. And let's get started. The first step is to remove the mylar from the bezel. To do that, you need to use the tool we talked about earlier. And in one of the corners, just gently lift the mylar and then tear it away from the bezel. The next step is to remove the eight screws from the bezel. And to do that, you need your T5 torque screwdriver. So once you remove the last screw, all you need to do is remove the bezel from the housing and the best place to grab it is at the top. And then you've exposed the elastomer. All you need to do is remove that to get access to the keyboard PCB. Now to remove the keyboard PCB, um, I didn't mention this earlier, but you need uh, a flathead screwdriver and what you do is you gently put it underneath the keypad PCB and it has to be in this corner because the flex cable is on this side. All you do is gently lift the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, all you have to do is disconnect the keyboard by lifting this latch and then you get your new QWERTY keypad PCB. Install the flex firmly. As you can see, there's a white line on the flex. Make sure it's fully inserted. Close the latch and seat the keypad back. And now there's two alignment nibs on the metal frame that need to line up when you install the keypad PCB. Then you're ready to put your QWERTY elastomer back on, make sure it's not twisted in any area, it has to be flat. And then you can place your bezel on top. There are no snaps, it's only held in by screws. And then you can start torquing the screws with your T5 torque driver set to one inch pound. And uh, we need to use a cross pattern so that the force is evenly distributed. So once the last screw is installed, all you need to do is remove the liner from the back of the mylar, install the sticky side down, and use the top of the bezel to align the, the mylar. Gently apply some pressure along the perimeter of the mylar so that the mylar sticks to the bezel and then you go in between the keys. This procedure we just went through is applicable for replacing any keyboard variant on the EP10. Once, it's, once you're completed, all you need to do is install the battery and turn on the terminal. The terminal will automatically recognize which keyboard variant is installed. No other configuration is required. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have any further questions, please join us or visit us on ingenuityworking.com. Thanks for watching.